dear Wed. Pretty dear, dear Wed. Hi, go puppy. We're down here, well, up here, under some construction today for our week one video recap with puppy Bernie. So we're just starting with a little bit of play. What is this tuggy? What is this tuggy? And then we'll see if we can switch over to some food and we'll demonstrate all of the skills that we've been working on this week. Oh, eat your squeaky. Little ball over there. Good boy. Oh, what is that? Yes, it's a purple. It's a purple. That's my cast. So in these videos, I have a broken arm, so I'm going to be using a verbal marker. Whenever I say the word yes, that's where you could also click the clicker. These puppies have been exposed to both the verbal marker yes that I've been using, because I can't click the clicker with this hand and have the food in my other hand, and they also have been exposed to the clicker. Um, Jay is using the clicker with them two days a week when he's here as well. So at home, you could either mark their behavior with a yes, or you could use the clicker. These puppies have experience with both. job, buddy. So I know that doesn't look much like a stay behavior yet, but we will add steps to it each week. So that's kind of cool to watch how that, how they get better and better at that. All right, our very last exercise, we're going to do a little handling. Okay, so I'm going to use my broken arm to the best of my ability. Yes! So I'm bringing my arm right now, but usually just be my hand, underneath their belly. Yes. 
marking that and then slipping the puppy a piece of food. We're going to do that three times in a row. Yes. Good job. Good boy. So that's how your dog would be restrained at the vet or at the groomer, hand underneath the belly. Now we're going to move on to, yes, different body parts. I'm looking in his ears. Yes. Good boy. In these handling exercises, I practice just like this, just with his sits and his hand targets and everything else every day. Yes. Yes. What a good puppy. So I did back legs. Look at it. I can also do, ooh, yes. His tail. And we'll end with a front leg. Oh, I got it. Yes. It's hard for me to access their other back legs, so just do, or their other front legs, so I'm just doing one. Yes. Yeah, that's your last piece. Oh my goodness, good boy, Bernie. What a very good boy. Okay, let's see if he wants to play a little bit to end our session. So I always like to try to play at the beginning and play a little at the end. That makes a nice structured training session. And then the pups are nice and tired at the end. So play to get them kind of going and motivated, then we make them think with the food and the training exercises, and then we kind of wind down with play. Sometimes though, look at it, it's going to climb the bed, sometimes though they're tired at the end. Sometimes they want to play, sometimes they don't. What do you think, Bernie? Yeah, you're a tired puppy. You are. What's that? What's that? Okay, so make sure that you access the video library to get more detailed instruction on how to train all these behaviors. You should watch those in addition to your recap videos. Hi, puppy! The link to access your video library is in your confirmation email. So is the link to book your Zoom, and I will be opening up some Zoom sessions pretty soon. So that you can get those booked before your puppy goes home. Um, the, and the Zoom session should happen after you, your puppy is home with you. All right, we will see you next week.